The Park City's community is coming together tonight for a family involved in just a horrible crash over the weekend. We're told the family was coming back from spring break vacation, as so many did, when a car hit them head on near Vernon, killing their youngest daughter. Our Amelia Magavro has been speaking with neighbors tonight. Amelia, what's the latest? Yep, Nicole, that daughter, she was just nine years old and went to school right across the street at University Park Elementary. And the community now rallying around this family, not only showing their support through prayers, but also through these pink ribbons. Pink ribbons cover the Park City's area, tied around nearly every single tree and fence post. A memorial for nine-year-old Molly Mullins. When you hear about it for another parent, you know, your heart just hurts because it can happen to anybody and especially in your own community. Neighbors tell us the Mullins family was heading back from a spring break trip Saturday night. Texas DPS tells us the crash happened near Vernon. Investigators say another driver lost control during a storm and hit the Mullins car head on. That driver died at the scene. Molly died at the hospital. Both parents, Michael and Marissa Mullins, and their two boys are in the hospital. Parent Gia Salisi has a daughter close to Molly's age who goes to the same school. But when it's when it's a small child, I think is just one of the most challenging things that a human, you know, endures in, 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 in life. And I think as another human, the best thing that we can do is just be understanding. Sergeant Juan Gutierrez with Texas DPS says the Vernon community is supporting the family after a couple found the Mullins Golden Doodle who went missing from the crash. It was a big deal just because, we, again, with all the tragedy, uh, just to bring a little bit of light back to the family, I think was, you know, it meant everything to them. The Park City's community hopes these pink ribbons will show their support, prayers, and healing for this family. There's just nothing you can do about anybody that goes through that tragedy except feel for them. And Highland Park ISD did send us a statement later on this afternoon that reads in part, Molly was a radiant presence in her family and within our community. She was known for her infectious laughter, boundless curiosity, and unwavering kindness, which touched the hearts of everyone she met. Very emotional there. And we also have learned that the crash is still under investigation. We also have been looking for a GoFundMe and fundraiser. Have not seen that for the family yet, but we did learn that from neighbors, the community rallied together last night and held a prayer service for the family. Live in University Park, Amelia McGovro, CBS News, Texas.